Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shanice. Walk my welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the little bell thing so you know every time I upload a video. And if you are not new, what's up? What's good? Hope you guys are doing well. So anyways, I thought I would do a chit chat, get ready with me, just because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time, unless you guys are following me on my vlog channel, which I highly recommend to do. So definitely take a moment to subscribe to that channel. So I'm actually just going to be getting ready now. I feel like I have not put on makeup in so long since this whole COVID-19 situation. I've been barefaced, looking crusty, walking around my house. So it's time to get ourselves together and we are going to talk and I'm going to give you guys maybe just a little update. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but let go. <laughs> so I'm going to be trying this Range of Beauty True Intentions Bronzing Primer. This is the first time I'm ever using this, so let's give it a go. So it has been super crazy these last few weeks because of the coronavirus, shutting down airports, stores, anything you can think of, it's been insane. And clearly you guys can probably tell that I am still in the States after Canada said they were about to shut down their borders. Um, currently right now, um, people who are from the US can still travel there, however, they're not doing any more tourism or just for fun type travel. So if I go home, I am not coming back to the States. Both ways they close on the borders for tourism or non-emergency cases. So if I want to go home, <laughs> I really won't be coming back here and for who knows how long. So. I decided myself that I'm going to stay here in America with my fiance. Um, just because he's also alone out here in Austin. I don't really know what that did. Maybe it gave me a glow, I don't know. But you guys see I'm breaking out so bad over here. So freaking bad. These are my trouble areas, so I'm really trying to work on that. So yeah, Brian doesn't really have anyone down here with him. So I was like, I might as well stay here with him, especially because you know, he's not going to work now since it's March break. And then I don't know how long this whole thing is going to last where nobody really goes to work and they just work from home. So I thought I would keep him company here. And that way I can film some videos as well. So I'm not really sure if Canada or the United States is going to literally close down their borders, period. Like, we'll just have to wait to see. So from what I've seen so far, there's still flights going out to Toronto. Um, and they're honestly very cheap. So if I do want to go home, the flight is there for now. <laughs> but right now I'm choosing to stay here. And then I just FaceTime my family and my friends um, and WhatsApp them and stuff just so we can stay in touch. I need more coverage right here. It's not, it's not getting it for me. So this brings me to my next topic which is my wedding so a lot of you guys know that i am engaged and i am getting married super super soon my wedding is honestly in just a few months and i don't know what the heck is gonna happen is my wedding canceled i don't know what's gonna happen in these next few months i it's definitely on the verge of getting canceled which is gonna be so extremely sad and like just frustrating on my part because mine is a destination wedding. Yeah, um, all of my family is coming from Toronto and they already bought their tickets. My dad even, like he didn't even have his passport. He didn't even know if he was gonna be able to come and he was able to get his passport as well. And ugh, I just don't know what's gonna happen right now, so. I'm having, I'm being optimistic because obviously I want it to happen and I need it to happen because we already put a lot of money into it, a lot of time and people put their money into it. It's just, it's just a crazy situation. As of right now, my venue said they are still having weddings there, but the simple fact that people are traveling from Toronto to Austin, they won't even be able to get through the border. So, I don't know right now. I don't know. And I personally think that if we do have to reschedule or whatever the case is, 
me and Brian are just gonna go elope or you know just get married um, that way and then have a wedding later because our main objective here is the marriage and not really the wedding the wedding is the fun part so it's crazy right now but honestly I haven't been thinking about it too much low-key my wedding planner has been messaging me and I just I don't even feel like messaging her back because I'm scared that I'm gonna get bad news and pff, I ain't ready for it right now I'm just trying to relax but if I do have my wedding, it is gonna be in July, it's gonna be in Austin, Texas. We have our venue, we have our DJ, we have our photographer, which is the one and only Stan Low Photography. Oh my gosh, as soon as I seen his work, I was like, this man is gonna be so expensive, I'm not gonna be able to afford him. Um, and lo and behold, I just reached out to him and I was like, oh, this is pretty affordable. Like it's in my price range or in our price range. Well, mine's mainly because Brian really doesn't care about the photos. He's like, we can just hire somebody for my work. I'm like, no, 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 no. Pictures are forever. We got to get the GOAT. And the GOAT is Stan Low Photography. Oh my gosh, his work is incredible. It's amazing. It's beautiful. He makes... He makes whatever he has work and that's what I love about him. His quality is just top notch and I just feel like I'm not going to hire somebody where I feel like I can kind of do the work that they're doing. They have to be, they have to be 50 million steps ahead of me. You know what I mean? So anyways, we got our photographer, which I'm super excited about. Um, he did Erica Menez and... What's his name? I don't remember his name. It's Safari's wedding. He's done um, De'Ara and Ken's engagement shoot. He's done a lot. He's done Eva Marcella's baby shower or baby maternity shoot. Like, he is the GOAT. He's amazing. He's from the Bahamas, um, black owned. I got my MUA secured. She's actually from Miami. And she always travels with Stanlo Photography as well. Um, I think she's called MUA TT. She is bomb as well. Um, who else do I have secured? I got my dress secured. I love my dress. It's gonna be here by May, and then I gotta do like some customized work. But then again, I think my dress is more like on this simple side, cause like I'm pretty simple, but like I kind of want to just dress it up just a little bit. Um, who else do we have secured? That's all I can think about right now, but almost everybody we have is black owned except for our venue. The venue is not owned by black people. Um, anybody else? The dress shop or the place where I got my dress and the actual stylist or the dressmaker, she's not black. Um, but I think everything else so far, they are black owned. Yeah, so I think those are the only two that are in black, black owned so far, but super happy with how everything is coming out. I think the one thing that I'm struggling with the most right now is the layout of the venue. The layout of the venue is super, super, super awkward to me. And if I could go back now, I would probably change the venue. Um, but honestly, we were on a crunch time, like, like everything was filling up, like everything. Almost every place that we looked at was booked. So me and Brian were like, we need to secure our date and our venue real quick because Brian is only able to have the wedding at a certain time in the year because he works so freaking much. So they only get a certain amount of time off and we only have a certain window. So anyways, we looked probably only at like maybe four to six venues and then we literally picked because time was of the essence if i could go back now i probably would have changed it just so it's something more simple and we can do whatever we want with it and another thing the venues here in dripping springs in austin texas it's like the weirdest thing it's like you have five hours and then that's your whole entire wedding reception everything it's like it's freaking weird. Like they have a new ordinance in Dripping Springs where your event has to be done by, I think it's 12 the latest or 11 or something like that. 
And I was like, what? No, 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 no. So anyways, I talked to the venue managers or whatever, and I'm like, no, 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 like this can't happen. Like it needs to be longer. I don't know which black people, which Caribbean people party for like one hour and call it done so. So they were kind enough and they were like, you know what, um, understand you guys can do it longer. They're like, you guys can have your reception for longer, but there's gonna be an extra fee um for adding on hours and then if you get fined like that's on you that's not on me however i'm like i feel like everything is gonna be okay especially because it's a wedding i feel like if the police come they'll give us a warning or they'll say like y'all gotta go but we're really like there's nothing around us it's like bush 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 so i'm like how loud are you really gonna be where people are gonna hear us from far away so i was like all right we doing this we doing this, we partying in now until I think it's 1.30 a.m. So that's good enough for me. All I, need, all I need is a few more hours. So I think when it comes to my wedding, um, things are moving, but now it's going slower just because of this whole situation. And I'm really unsure if my wedding's gonna happen. But like I said, I'm being optimistic and I believe that you know, the devil, the devil is not gonna mess with our union, okay? It is not. And if he does try to play us, we gonna play you right back and we are gonna get married at the courthouse, period, point blank. <laughs> Literally debating if I wanna put anything on my eyes right now. Do I wanna put anything on my eyes? Hey guys, if you see anything in my hair, if you see any white stuff or whatever you see, if you see flakes or whatnot, yes. My hair is definitely nasty right now. <laughs> it's been maybe, I think it's been about 40, 30 something days since I straightened my hair last. And I've just been using dry shampoo and dry conditioner. And this is my hair now. I have been hella lazy to look at the ends. Look at these ends. And you wouldn't even believe the madness that just happened. I was leaning over to grab something I had my candle right there and my hair went into the candle like I still have pieces right here can y'all see that yeah my hair almost got lit on fire and that's how you know the Lord was telling me girl it's time to wash that dirty ass hair <laughs> I'm gonna pop these lashes on these are my favorite lashes from Amazon they are so bomb um, I will link them in my Amazon store, but love these. Gonna pop these on. Okay guys, so this is big right now. This is like my first time in like five years or maybe even more putting bottom eyeliner on. So I'm scared. Let's try this. <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks. Okay, so I did that, and I'm gonna put on mascara at the bottom. But anyways, y'all, so how has your few days or week been going since this whole quarantine thing? What have you guys been doing to stay busy? It's kind of nothing new to me because I work from home and I'm always in the house unless I run errands or I'm traveling. That is the one big change. Oh my gosh, the traveling, I'm itching to go somewhere and we would have went somewhere on March break if it wasn't for this whole thing. So it kind of sucks, but I'm enjoying it because Brian's home too. Like I could spend as much time as I want with him, which is kind of fun. We've been playing Uno and you know, betting each other and just reading our Bibles and stuff like that. So it's been, it's been cool. I'm just gonna brush a little bit of highlighter on. I don't want much to be honest, just Not much, I just wanted to like just, just fade in with everything else. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. I always got a lot of questions about my lip colors or like my lip glosses and whatnot. So I'm lining my lips with Max Chestnut right here. Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in Power Move. It's a creamy matte right here. Really, really pretty nude. It's like a pinky nude. Then I'm gonna go in with Fenty Beauty's Gloss Bomb in Diamond Milk. So 
I'm gonna add a little bit of fussy, just a little bit. And then of course, finishing with Max Fix Plus, Urban Decay All Nighter. So yeah, yeah, I finished my makeup. That's pretty much all I really want to talk to you guys about. I'm praying for the best, hoping for the best, and I, I just pray that we can get married and we can have our wedding and everything is everything, okay? So yeah, hopefully you guys are good on the other side of this camera, um, on the other side of this screen. I hope you guys are enjoying your quarantine and making the most out of it. So yeah, I know this entire situation is out of our control, but I hope you guys are staying positive and in good spirits because um, that's really all you can do right now. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave it right there. This is my face. I'm probably just gonna end up taking it off and gonna wash my hair, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Definitely does help me. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Deuces.